up everybody. Thanks uh, for the click. If you hear from the coloring book, thank you very much for the purchase. For the purchase. Um, this is the grill I drew. And uh, I guess I'll just go right into playing the screen caps. I went to Google as usual, grabbed a picture for reference, and uh, got to scribbling. So I might as well show you guys that. That's clean up. Anybody watching this for tutorial purposes, or uh, I'm using Krita, Krita, not sure how you say it. It's open source, so it's free. You can't beat free 99. If you'd like to donate to them, just like everyone else on the internet, you're more than welcome to. Uh, if I start making some money, I definitely plan to, because it's a really nice software for free for, for doing drawings like this. Anytime you're looking at these things, anything that's blue, um, that's what's active, all the blue stuff. So for this, I, in some respects, it's a simple drawing for digital stuff. I'm not the most fluent with digital things. I try to keep it simple. Uh, I'm using a paintbrush to do my roughs on a layer, scribbling it out with the symmetry tool to help speed things up. The symmetry tools right here. It's underneath this stuff. And uh, that's it. Use my reference to make sure I don't make it something too unrealistic. And I just chip away at it. It's cool with digital, you really don't have to worry about messing up at least your framing because you have a, uh, a scaling tool where you can always just throw it down there and kind of play with the proportions get it the way you like it so don't be afraid to just jump right in The more you do it, the more you start building an intuition and a good default foundation of, of placement. You'll just start putting things in areas that are a little better than when you first started. Not that I'm the absolute best at it, but I've noticed that through time. It just the more you do something, just the better you get at it. With my rough, I don't worry too much about, like I like to keep it symmetrical so I can have an idea of what it's going to look like, but this is going to be a rough, so if it gets off center, it's not the end of the world. Your cleanup layer for this type of art is where you don't want to move or be doing adjustments like this, because then it can, if you're using the symmetry tool, you'll, uh, you'll lose your alignment. I'm sure there's a ruler tool here. I know in Photoshop you can hit Command R or Control R and a ruler will pop up so you can get precise measurements of where your center line is on your canvas. I don't know where that is and I lost my center by grabbing this by accident. If you click that and move it, it'll move the actual center mark on the canvas. But I just, uh, when that happened, I just started drawing it in the corner, zoomed in and drew in the corner. And if it was off, I just kind of moved it around until they were both, you know, for the most part, dead center. It's probably off a little bit because I don't have a precise measurement, but good enough for government work.
Where the magic is is in the eyes. If you're gonna take your time anywhere, in my opinion, it would be in the eyes. Might as well chime in anyway. There's commercial. That's where I like to put a lot of focus and energy, because all of us are drawn to look at eyes and faces. doesn't grab your attention or connect with you or, or feel appealing uh, in the eyes then a lot of times it's just the drawing is not going to reach its potential there's still ways to work around eye it's not the end all be all you know art's infinite you can find your own niche there are plenty of folks who don't have drawings with no eye contact no eyes because they just don't click with it, it doesn't have a spark to them Find your appeal and find whatever's appealing to you and you feel is appealing to others about your work and hone in on that. I want to do it by hand, but uh, for whatever reason, my I wasn't my hand wasn't too steady this morning, so I went ahead and grabbed the circle tool just to get a nice sharp clean lot circle in there for the eyes which I don't like using because I, I always feel like the placement is not as intuitive and it's hard to get the placement of those spheres where you'd put it if you just drew it by hand but if you stay persistent and mess with it you can get something close enough right there I felt like eh that's close enough That, hey, if I have this sharp line, this you know perfect sphere for an eye, an iris, uh, 
if I do the pupil by hand, it'll probably be really evident. So I use the circle for the pupil too. Then I shaded and worked uh, just with the pencil and my hand for the rest of the eye. Got an eraser to get the uh, eye shine or highlight. So you can see it actually gives it a soft edge, which I'm sure when this is printed it probably won't read, but that soft little feathered edge uh, kind of breaks the style of the rest of the of, of the image, but it comes off as more realistic. So I left it. basically it for the cleanup. And the other images I put, you know, made things tiger stripes so people could have a lot of shapes. But with him I felt like, uh, I don't know, I felt like I'd leave it a little more simple, have more open spaces in case someone's like, oh, I want a little more real estate. Instead of the little uh, tiger shape wedges to color. background I just felt like uh, this shape is of his head and face is kind of like a rectangle so I'm just going to use a bunch of rectangles to kind of complement that. I want it, the bottom a little more weighted than the top. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of subconsciously represent the body, like the rest of his body will be down there. And it's, there's not as much rectangles. And that's about it. I like to put those in for folks to color it. So the whole page, they want to have shapes to fill in and make it look as pretty as they want. Well, thank you guys for checking it out. I hope you enjoy uh, watching these little drawings get made. Um, if you bought the coloring book, thank you very much. Hopefully this has become successful. It would be really rad if I could get up and just make coloring books and work on my animations. I just downloaded Blender, which I'm excited about. I hope to learn. Uh, I haven't even tried to animate in Krita yet. That's coming down the road. About to move into my uh, place this week and hopefully once I get settled there I can use that as a, the new place as an excuse to really uh, start being more productive with my art and produce more things. Again, I wish you the best. Thank you very much for the click. Hope you have an awesome day. Take it easy.